hello. Let's start by talking about what we're going to need. So I will be using my Viviva color sheets. These are the highly pigmented watercolor sheets that I own. Um, you can use any watercolors that you want. However, I will be showcasing those. You're going to need some paper. I recommend 140 pound watercolor paper, cold press, or a caddy paper, something that will take a lot of water because I tend to use a lot of water in my techniques. You're going to need some water, clean water. Uh, you're going to need paper towel, kitchen towel, and you're going to need brushes, watercolor brushes. I will be using a quill brush. Not everyone has one of these kind of brushes. That's totally fine, as long as it goes to a point. So a large round will do. Um, you're also going to want a detail brush. So again, I'm going to be using quite an unusual brush, a bent angle spotter. However, any watercolor brush that's got a small tip, um, like a small round, that's totally fine as well. If you don't own any of these particular products, feel free to use your own. Like I mentioned, you just want the paper, paint, brushes. The main focus is just getting creative and having fun today. So I like to make my butterflies very loose wings. So I'm using a lot of water with my large brush and just putting in sort of wing shapes with a lot of water. I'm now gonna take the magenta, which is one of my favorite colors, and dropping that in, watching it move through the water like this. Such a fun way to see the paint and pigment move. And it will create this really fun mottled effect. You can go back in and add a little bit more. While that's drying, I'm gonna take some of the light green and create a very loose kind of bush for my butterfly to sit on. And just tapping simple back and forth strokes is sufficient. I'm a big believer in anyone can paint. You just need to pick up a paintbrush. And so just using these simple colors, now the violet, and dropping it in, you can create these beautiful florals and a butterfly with very, very simple strokes. Now, once the butterfly is dried, you can go in and do a second layer of magenta um, or any color of your choosing. And then I'm adding slate black for the body. And I'm going in and I'm actually using the thinnest point of my larger brush here, but I could use a detail brush at this point. Um, but I'm just doing some back and forward strokes around the wing shape. So I'm trying to really create sort of some shape to my wing. Um, the top of the wing has got a little bit of black. I don't really have an inspiration photo for this one. I'm kind of just winging it, <laughs> so to speak, with the wings. Um, but any of the combinations of black with the color, whether it's a red base or an orange base, will work. And I'm just outlining my butterfly. I'm trying to keep the looseness still, but adding a bit of structure by drawing on with the paintbrush some details like the cells of the wing. Um, and again, I'm just making it up as I go along. I'm just doing some simple strokes back and forth to create that sort of wing shape. Now I'm gonna need an actual detail brush for things like the antenna. So I'm gonna do two little thin lines, very simple strokes up. Again, you can use a small round or something with a nice thin point for the details. And then going in and adding some legs um, I'm adding four legs here. Even though a butterfly has six legs, you really only see the four. And then a little bit of extra detail to those flowers. Now these are completely made up flowers that just give you the illusion of, of florals. And then I personally love to add some sprinkles. I've, I've watered down the violet shade and sprinkled those on with little droplets and it just makes it feel fun.
So that just shows you with just the four colors of Aviva, and there's 16 in this particular pack, but just four colors can make two very different looking butterflies. I am going to be going over another class that goes into detail on other ways to do these kind of butterflies. But to get you going, these ones are great. Again, just simple movements using the Viviva and lots of water. And it's just an art therapy as well. It's fun to do and just see what you can come up with. Create your own butterflies.